What was one thing that you took away from this course that you might not have gotten from, gotten from a high school? I'm sorry. Yes, Sue Wayne, go ahead. A little louder, please. AP style format. AP style writing format. Beautiful. Somebody else. What, what, what was a major takeaway? That you benefit from these courses. This is early college. Why do we do this? Yes, go ahead. Making wise decisions before you do something, like the various methods of birth control, the various methods to like go against like stress. Just Beautiful. One more voice. One more voice around that. Go ahead. We learned like the major effects of drugs and like how addictive and some that some are and like you know how dangerous they are mm -hmm. and you know some stuff are like they have synthetic drugs and it might not be natural. So what you think you're you know doing might not be what you're doing. Wow. Did we get any sense of future careers out of our health studies? Did it take us? Anybody want to speak to that? Any clarification around, yes, I think I made my, my head towards medicine, or no, I don't know so much. Anything on careers. How did it connect? Do you see any connection? Yes, go ahead. Do you like, for me, I see a feature in psychology. Ah, isn't that wonderful? I'm just a very mindful person in general. Anybody else? And thank you so much. Young man, we haven't heard from you. Yes, go ahead. So be ready. Thank you. It goes into your career also so that if you're like extremely busy and tired and you might be stressed, so you don't do drugs or anything that could affect you negatively. Let me uh, just take the opportunity to thank uh, the principal and all of you for inviting me. I'm so honored and pleased and delighted to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because, uh, let me, uh, very quickly, I'm not going to speak too long. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I used to be as a matter of fact, I, I love all the topics you're talking about <laughs> because I had the opportunity to learn many of them, or probably all of them, because myself, I'm a medical doctor too. Oh. So, <laughs> so, so, medical love, doctor, <laughs> and you become a politician can help many, 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 many people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But what I want to say that the reason I'm very pleased to be here because there is nothing more important, more precious that we as a society, we can give to our young people an education. I was born and raised in Haiti. And you know that Haiti is a country of difficulties, you know that, right? Yeah. And all the luxury and uh, opportunities that you have in the United States, I didn't get them in Haiti. I didn't. But one thing that uh, you know, I knew, and one thing that my parents instilled in all of us, we were 10 in the family. Mm -hmm. Ten children. So, and we, by the grace of God, we are all successful. We're doing very well, thank God. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we know, we had to go to school. And all who are of Asian descent, you know that. All the time said, you got to go to school. Exactly. And you have to become a doctor. They were not rich, but they understood that I need something. They told that I need to succeed in life was education. But because of the education, I'm here in front of you today, as the, I, and I'm humbled by saying that, as the first Haitian American to be elected to the government in New York City. Just to let you know, if you have a good education, you make sure you succeed in your education. You have a dream and you think about something, no one can stop you become, becoming who you want to become, whatever you want to become. And please let me conclude by saying I congratulate you because where you are now, that means you understand that education is the best tool that you need. And it is the key to open all doors to all success. Let me conclude by saying that. Who could believe 20 years or 50 years before, 100 years before, that a black person, a black kid, like you or like anybody, any other kid, could become the first president of the United States of America? Thank you. Who could believe that? You know why it was possible? First of all, first of all by the grace of God. Second, because of the education. But I want to conclude to congratulate you, and to thank you, and also to thank all of you who are doing the best that we can do to make sure that all young people receive the best education possible. And I want to let you know, so I am privileged to be the chairman of the Youth Services Committee in the City Council. 
And I'm fighting every single day to make sure that the city council and the administration put the resources necessary for our young people to get the best education possible. Because let me tell you before, you probably know that when somebody gets an high school diploma, oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> high school diploma was wonderful. Not anymore. Not anymore. If you want to be successful in this uh, world, you got to get more than high school, at least a college degree. At least. And then we have to make more effort because uh, America is the greatest country in the world. It's the greatest. I'm saying that because I've had the privilege to travel to many countries, to studies, and some of them to little. But we are not the first in education anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're not the first. In, you got to take the decision. You got to play it. You got to say that we, you, when you will be in the workforce, whatever you want to do, if you are in education, you got to participate and see how we can make America the first in education again. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you so much.